everyone welcome back to Ram's tutorial if you are new here in my channel guys please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're updated on my latest videos today class or my dear students we're going to discuss about good morning class good morning viewers today we're going to discuss about using reciprocals and dividing fractions but before that allow me to say this if you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to Ram's tutorial channel. Okay? So, today, my dear students, we're going to discuss again using reciprocals in dividing fractions. Chiram, what is reciprocals? And how to divide it using fractions. So, we know, guys, that fractions is just like this one, four, and three. Three is whole number. Then 3, 11, divide to 4, 7. This is an example of fraction, guys. So, I will give you what you call the clear discussions on how to solve different equations. Different equations means different problems. Okay, let us say first here, before you, what you call, you start answering the questions, guys. So, don't forget to read our, what you call, uh, reminders or a simple reminders for us you viewers and you my students of course first is that when a number my dear students is multiplied by its reciprocal that surface reciprocal using number one the product is one okay second the shortcut for dividing fractions okay this is a shortcut for dividing fraction is to multiply my dear students through multiplication process the reciprocal of the divisor by the dividend dividend we are going to express the quotient in simplest form okay how so for example in our example class please watch my video three divide to one fourth remember three is whole number so we're going to find it out the reciprocal of three okay so now class we're going to start solving so i'm going to write one fourth here times three so what is the reciprocal of three since three is since 3 is whole number, so we are going to write here 1. So that is 3, 1. Now to solve it, class, remember, we are going to reverse 4, 2, 1. That is 4, 1. Okay? Then multiplication process, class, times this one, 3, 1. 1 okay please follow guys next we're going to multiply 4 and 3 next step guys the answer is 12 or my dear viewers you can use also skip counting process you're going to uh, use uh, addition process you're going to add 4 3 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 like that that is 12 then 1 times 1, the denominator. So we're going to write, this will be our answer. 12 one guys, or 12. This will be our quotient. Okay, for our, this is an example of using reciprocals and dividing fractions. So this is what we call the fractions. My dear students, this will be the fraction. And this will be, one is what we call reciprocal. Okay. Did you understand, my dear student? That is how you're going to answer the questions. 3 divide 1 fourth is equal to reverse 1 fourth. Okay. You're going to write 1 4 times 3 1. Then reverse it. 4 over 1 times 3 1. Then next step is you're going to multiply 4 times 3, the answer is 12. 1 times 1, the answer is 1. So when you divide it, that is 12. Okay, 12, 1 or 12, that will be our answer or the quotient. 
for our example. Okay, did you understand, my dear students? So we are going to proceed to our what we call exercises. Exercises is helping students learn a lot out of our tutorial today, which is dividing using reciprocals. Okay, let's complete each number. Keep practicing with our students. So remember, constant practice will make us perfect. We are going to express our answer in simplest form, just like what I did here. This is a simplest form, my dear students. Okay, our first equation for number one, we have 9 divided by 3 fifth. Same procedure, guys. We are going to follow our example number one. So we are going to write first here. Okay, so I'm going to write 3 fifth times, okay, 9, 1. Okay, please follow my dear students. So we are going to write it 5 third reverse times here, 9, 1. Next, multiply it, my dear students, 5 and 9, 5 times 9. So remember, skip counting, guys. That's 45. 3 times 1, guys. The answer is 3. Chair, how to simplify that? You are going to divide 45 to 3, okay? Our numerator, this will be what you call numerator, guys. Okay, to be clear with you. 3 is our denominator, okay? Okay, did you understand, my dear students? That is the denominator. Okay, we're going to divide it. 45. 45. Divide 3, guys. 4 divide 3, we have... We have 1, guys, here. So, 4 divided by 3, it's 1. Times... 3, so we have 3, 4 minus 3, 1, bring down 5, so this will be 15, divide 3 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, guys. So our answer now, 45 over 3 is 15, this will be our answer for number 1, my dear students, okay? Next, number 2. 2 third divide 12. Okay, we are going to write 2 third divide 12. 2 third times 12, 1. Next, guys. We are going to write it. 3 half times 12, 1. Okay, multiply that, multiply that. So, 12 times 3, we're going to write 36 over 2. Then, we are going to divide 36 divide 2, guys. Okay, this will be the numerator and denominator. So, we have, I will show you guys, 36 divide 2. 3 divide 2, guys, is 1. So we have 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, 16, divide 2, we have 8, so that's will be 16. So our answer is 8, 10. So will be our answer for number 2, my dear students, hope you can follow. Okay, next, number 3, my dear students, we have 3, 11, divide 4, 7, okay. We are going to start, guys. 3, 11 times 7, 4. Seven times 3, guys, 21. So 11 times 4 is 40 for my third students. Okay. Next, guys, we are going to what you call divide it 21 and 44 we are going to make it the simplest for for 21 and 44 so we are going to think what 
particular possible for 21 and 44. So, so 44 guys is what you call the prime number. So that's 22, so 2, 7 for 21. So that's 7, 21 and 4. 21 is less than then 44 44 is greater than 21 so this is what we called a proper fraction so for, this will be our final answer 21 and 44 next guys we have number four okay our equation for number four is 20 divide 5 6 so we're going to write 5, 6 times 20 over 1. Next, multiply that. So 2 times 5 is 10, so we have first. Okay. We are going to multiply it, guys, here. 20 times 5. 0. So we have here, we get 100 over 6. So we are going to divide it denominator and numerator so we have i'm going to show you 100 divide 6 so in 10 so we have 1 so 6 so we have 4 bring down 0 so 40 divide to 6 so we have if 7 that's 42 so we have 6 times 6 is 36 guys so 10 so 4 that's 40 again so 6 36 that's 10 that's 40 again so it's 16 point 6 or 17 guys is our final answer for number 4 okay that's how you're going to divide it into simplest form guys but if not this is this is improper fractions that's why we are going to divide uh, numerator to denominator which is 100 divide 6 so 10 divide 6 is 1 so bring down 6 subtract to 10 it's 4 bring down 0 to make it 40 whole number divide to 6 is 36 so we can't multiply to 7 because it's 42 it's over so this is will be our final answer 16.6 .6 or we round off to 710 major students next number five our equation is 8 over 9 divide 6 guys so do not be confused about division symbol so in multiplying using reciprocal guys we are going to use what you called to multiply it using the reciprocal that was our short what we called uh, process on how to divide using reciprocals guys remember that's the shortcut for dividing fractions is to multiply that okay well, here we go we're going to write rewrite nothing guys so we have here 8 over 9 times 6 1 okay so multiply that 48 over 9 okay multiply numerator to numerator denominator to denominator next here we're going to divide it guys I will show you 48 divide 9 so how many 9 and 48 so if you said 8 guys so it's over if you said 7 it's over also 9 times 6 is over so we have 5 my dear students this is 45 we subtract 8 and 5 is 3 so 4 is 0 so since 3 cannot be guys we're going to add 0 so like after that guys put a decimal point that is how you're going to divide so we bring down 0 to make it whole number becomes 30 divide to 9 so 30 divide 9 so we're going to write here if 4 that is 36 so we're going to write 3 okay that's 27 so it becomes 10 so 2 so it's 0 so 3 so we add 0 again guys so 30 so we have 3 then 27 same process guys so it becomes 3 then add 30 so it's 3 again so that is our final answer guys is 5.33 or 5 that's our final answer because we can't 
what we called uh, round of three is a <coughs> number which is rounding down, not rounding up. Because our rounding up is five up, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rounding down, zero, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, hope you understand, guys. We are going to what we call proceed to number 10. Number six, rather. Okay, that was our last. Okay, we are going to continue, my dear students. Please focus. Okay, 10. It's okay. 10, 15, divide 4, 5. Okay, reverse, guys. You can reverse it, but still the same answer po. We're going to write 10, 15 times... Okay, we can reverse it 5, 4. Still, guys, same answer pa rin yan. Okay? There we go. So, this will be 50. 15 times 4. So, we have 24, 5. We have 60. Okay? So, here. 50 divide 60, guys. So, this one, guys, is 50 and 60, 50 is less than to 60. That means to say proper fraction po sila guys. So we're going to think their greatest common factor to 50 and 10. So we can divide it by 10. 50 divide 10 is 5. 10 divide 60 is 6. Okay, that's very easy guys. 5, 6 is R. Okay, I will make it bigger, guys. Uh, this will be our, what you call GCF, guys. Okay. That's why you get 5, 6 is our final answer. Basta. It's a fittest proper fraction, guys. You're going to think the right greatest common factor between the numerator, the given numerator, and denominator. Okay? So, we need our math skills in answering this. This will be our answer for number 10 meter students. Done. Okay, that's the proper way on how to solve different equations using reciprocals. Okay, remember my dear students, this will be what you call great help for us, for you my dear students, my dear viewers, in order to what you call enhance your skills in what you call answering the different techniques or the different numbers or equations in mathematics guys. Especially today guys, we are in our home so please keep on practicing okay and then please watch on my video tutorials every day guys because i really wanted to help you that's why i do this every day so learning and helping me also guys please keep on subscribing ram's tutorial vlog okay once again my dear viewers so long class see you on my next videos Thank you for spending your time again to Ram's tutorial channel. God bless us.